So the new saw is working out great. I'm loving having it in the shop and the out feed table has been fantastic. So if you haven't seen the build video for that, please go check that out. Um, today I'm going to build another accessory for this saw. I'm going to build an under saw storage cabinet. So I bought a mobile base for this saw and I really want the cabinet that I build to move along with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a cleat to these two legs here and have the body of the cabinet rest on that cleat and rest on this steel wheel cover. So got all the outer panels cut. I'm just going to slide this one in. Um, this is the bottom. Uh, I've squared up these legs and then there are these bolt heads right here that stick up. And I'm going to set this on top in here and then with a hammer I'm going to So it fits in there really nicely and locks onto those little bolt heads. The only issue is that this wheel stays flat on the floor while the rest of the saw raises up. This part right here, which is a cover for the little pump, um, that, that does raise up with the saw. So I'm gonna...
so all the drawers are in. Um, I figured out the math and, and kind of how I want to trim out the drawer faces. Um, I'm gonna make it kind of look like outfeed table uh, by using oak as the trim, and um, I'm gonna do a little bit thicker for, for drawer pulls at the top. Um, so this is 5 eighths of an inch, this is 3 eighths of an inch, and then it'll get 3 eighths of an inch on each side as well. This makes the math pretty easy because 5 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 1 inch. So um, when I do the center panel for the drawer face, I can uh, just subtract an inch from the size. and I hope you enjoyed that build. I know that not, not everyone has the same table saw as me and um, you could totally build this cabinet for a different table saw. You just pop wheels on it or you figure out another way to connect it to its base. Um, I did leave a, a gap here intentionally. Uh, that's so that when I lock the fence into place, I can still open the top drawer like that. Um, I had a lot of questions on the last video, the outfeed table video, about this material. It's black melamine, and um, I just get quarter inch uh, black melamine, and it's an MDF core. Um, I use the carpet tape on it because nothing really sticks to it, so I found that for my use, uh, that holds up great. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys have any other questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer those. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.